It's because it's a continuation of the sentence in the English. And if we don't go look back at the Arabic uh, statement that Jesus was making, that we get messed up with commas and punctuation. And so we can't figure out exactly. So we think that when he says upon this rock, because the name Peter means Petro or Petros, we're thinking that Jesus is building the church upon Peter. But that's not what he's saying. He's building the church upon the foundation that he is the Christ. He's building upon the revelation that Peter got. Oh God. That Peter understood that the church is all encompassing in Jesus. And then Jesus goes on to say to Peter, because you got this revelation and you understand who I am now let me tell you who you are <laughs> let me tell you what your role is in the kingdom the problem is is that Peter was not yet ready y'all better help me because I'm a preach today Peter was not yet ready to receive what Jesus was trying to tell him and I heard the Lord begin to speak to me and son that's part of the problem it says I got you somewhere and folk not right ready to receive what you're trying to tell them they're not right ready to go there yet. They, they still want to stay in and they still want to sit beside the gate and receive alms and, and sit there begging and, and blaming folk for why they haven't gotten in the water when they've been sitting there for 38 years and blaming this and blaming Cherry Hill and blaming the community and blaming the, this man and that man, blaming all this stuff for why they've not gotten it yet. And so he tells Peter, he says, you know what? I'm putting the control in your hands or in the church's hands. He said, whatever you loose on earth, I will loose in heaven. And whatever you bind on earth, I will bind in heaven. That means I'm giving you the authority over the kingdom. Authority in the kingdom. That whatever you speak is already done in kingdom. Y'all stay with me over there. Oh, I'm going to watch you. If you're not paying attention, I'm going to call your name. The devil is a liar. If you ain't paying attention, I'm going to call your name. This must change. And it's going to change. This thing we call the church. See, it's actually, let me share this with you. It is the church that's supposed to occupy the kingdom. You know, everybody said, you know, you heard me say, and I still say it, I'm tired of the church. When I say I'm tired of the church, I'm not talking about the Lord's church. I'm talking about our church. That thing that Jesus found when he walked in and said, you know what, I'm sick of this. This has got to change. Repent, because whatever you created, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what you call this organism, but it's not. it wasn't from my father. So this must change. That's what he means by repent. When he said the kingdom of heaven is near, he said if you watch me and watch I do what I do, you'll understand the processes and the thought processes of the kingdom. Jesus was the kingdom in the earth. Everybody talking about the kingdom. I told them this yesterday. I said everybody's talking about the kingdom, but very few people know what it is. It's just one of those catch words right now. You know, we get every once in a while we get catch words, you know, like we had a name it, claim it generation and all this kind of, now the big catch word is the kingdom. Everybody's in the kingdom. They don't even know what it is. So that's, guess what we're going to do, Tammy? We're going to create a church that's called the kingdom. Because what we, we always try to do, we try, thank you, Holy Ghost, we try to enshrine ideas that are not supposed to be enshrined. We try to take an idea and put it inside of an organism that we can understand. You can't enshrine an idea. I watched this movie called Inception. Oh, God. If you got a weak mind, don't go see it. It'll mess you up. But the guy talked about how you can implant an idea, that an idea is a parasite, and that once it infects you, you can't get it out. You know, and what we try to do is we try to take the idea of God and put it in a framework that we can understand. That's what Nicodemus did. Nic Nicodemus was, was seeing Jesus do kingdom stuff. And he's trying to figure out, now, Lord, how in the world are you doing what you're doing? And Jesus said, listen, unless you're born again, you can't even see the kingdom. 
Now, here, here's what we're talking about. We think that means water baptism in Jesus' name. It ain't got nothing to do with baptism. It has to do with a change of mindset. In other words, if you don't start thinking from a spiritual parameters or spiritual perspective, you can't understand what I'm doing because your mind won't even conceive it. Nicodemus says, so sure, a man enter a second time in his mother's womb. Jesus is like, see, I told you. I told you you didn't get it. This ain't got nothing to do with flesh and blood. That which is flesh is flesh. And that which is spirit is spirit. He said, when you're born of the spirit, listen to what he said. He said, you will be like the wind. Can anybody contain wind? Can you enshrine wind? He said, nobody knows where it's coming from and nobody knows where it's going. He said, such are those that are born of the spirit. Oh, God. But we get stuff and we want to put it 